Hey there guys, my name is the Golden Dragon and welcome to another tutorial. In the tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a 2x2 elevator. Now the cool thing about this elevator is you can also call it down. So as well as going with it, as you can see here, if somebody's already taken it down, you can call it back up and go down yourself. But this took a lot of time, so we're going to be making this in this video. Let's go into it. So guys, the items you are going to need from this chest are 1 piston, 10 honey blocks, you are going to need to be 1.15 or above guys to have these honey blocks, 4 stone buttons, 3 sticky pistons, 40 furnaces, I'll explain in a minute why that is, um, 30 redstone dust, 4 observers, 60, 2 stacks basically, of a chosen block, I've chosen quartz block because it just looks so good. So the reason you have 40 furnaces is that it's an immovable block. So Whenever you're making lifts or flying machines, you have to have an immovable block, and normally it's obsidian. But now, we can have furnaces instead, and it makes it a whole ton cheaper, because you guys probably have maybe like four or five stacks of cobblestone in the backyard, so you can finally put that cobblestone to good use. Okay, so let's start the tutorial. Um, you can start off by placing the furnaces in this order, so like this, so it's going to be four by three, four by three. Once you've placed your furnaces down, you're going to place a higher block like this. Remember to shift, otherwise if you don't shift, you will start going into the furnace's inventory. You don't want to do that. You're going to make like an L shape here with honey blocks, and you're going to place down two of your chosen block here, and you're going to place an observer facing down here. And then you're going to destroy this furnace, and that's because you're going to have to have something here to trigger this observer. So let's place down the redstone dust here. Like so, you can place down three for now, and then you're going to shift, place down a circuit piston, place down a honey block here, here, then you're going to place down a sticky piston right here, facing down, and then a honey block here, and then you're going to place down another observer right here. There we go. Then you can put down two more honey blocks, and then two more quartz blocks, or your chosen block. So now guys you're going to pile up 8 blocks for a 2 layer elevator. So that's what we're going to be building now. If you want the elevator to go higher you can you can of course go a bit higher with the blocks. But for now we're going to stick with 8. So this is this is approximately 8. Go on more up. And then go across here. And place a furnace like this. So the furnace is going to act like a stopper. So as soon as the flying machine starts going it's going to stop at the furnace. Okay so this is what it should look like for now. Then, you're going to start making the walls. So the walls are going to be made out of furnaces, to be precise. So you're going to start piling up a furnace up here until you get to the height of this furnace. So that's about right. You can go here, pile up this. So let me just quickly do this for a second. So at the end, you should see something that resembles this. So this is going to be the basic structure of it. It looks quite ugly, but don't worry, we're going to cover it up soon. If you're building this on the floor, then don't worry about the staircase. I'm doing it just to get up to the steps a bit easier. So next you're going to build out two more here. Place a stone button like so. And you're going to build over here. Stack up a bit. Redstone dust here. And then... You're going to kind of make a staircase. So, so I'm going to do this, do this, and do this. Then you're going to put redstone dust up this staircase. Up to where the button was like so. Now let's try this out. It works, so, but it is kind of stopping here, so we're going to have to elevate this furnace a bit more. So I'm going to elevate it here, one block more above, and to make it go back down you have to trigger this observer, so I'm just going to do this, there we go. So we've done the button to go up, now we need to do the button to go down, so I'm just going to build around here just to make it a bit prettier, if that's the word. And then I'm going to use this to go up. Hey, I'm going up here. So next you're going to place down two more up here. At the, we're at the top floor. Uh, bearing in mind we're at the top floor. So you're going to build out two more. Place down a stone button like this. And then you're going to go over here. Place down your piston like so. And put a line of redstone dust going all the way to where the button is. Like this. So when you activate it, it should go back down. Hey, there we go. And now we should be able to go back up. 
Hey, so we've got the down, and then we've also got the up. So now we've got that sorted. So guys, if you want to make this a bit more hidden, you can take away these two pieces and just put a redstone dust going into this block and it should still work. Okay, so now we're gonna do the cool button. So we're gonna be doing the cool button for the floor. Um, quickly make a little staircase. So I'm gonna place down my block and then my stone button like so. And you're gonna place down redstone dust like this and like this. And then you're going to place down a sticky piston facing upwards and then honey block, honey block and normal block and then you are going to build an observer an observer observer delete this observer right here place back this down so you're gonna have like the observer needs to be facing down into this block and then on top of that you can build across redstone dust with redstone dust so what this is going to do is, it's going to detect the piston going back up and then it's going to send a signal here. This guy right here is going to make this triggered and it's going to go all the way down to you. Let's try it. Look at that. Look at that. We're already halfway through. So now we need to do the cool button from the bottom to the top. So for this you're just going to quickly, it's as simple as this ready. It's as simple as this. So I'm just going to go here place a block here, place a button here, and it should, and if I call it back down, it goes down, and if I press this button, it should come back up. Look at that, so easy, so simple, and so quick. So this guys is the contraption, you can also smooth this up, of course, you can put a block here like this, um, make sure you don't get anything sticking to the honey blocks, otherwise it won't work properly. So just be aware of that. You can also build kind of like a back end to this. So make sure you build a one block gap in between this, otherwise it will stop the flying machine from going up. You can build like a cover to this if you really wanted to, like this. So yeah, so you can also build kind of like a roof as well. Be sure not to also take away the furnaces because if you take with the furnaces, it will start just going up to the sky. It just won't stop. So keep the furnaces there. Put some furnaces here, of course. And you just you have to have one block gap for the piston to trigger the observer when it comes back up. Um, if you do miss out some steps, sorry if I didn't explain it properly. But just rewind back, and hopefully you'll be able to build the contraption properly. So if you press this button, ah, oh, this is so so satisfying too. So yeah, you can you can do whatever you want to. You can add some decoration block. Right now it looks quite bad. If I go over to my other one, I've, you can see I've decorated the site. So I've hidden all the redstone here away from the site, and you can integrate this into a house. You can, as you can see, it's like kind of like a floor. So you can have a floor here, and like you can go up the floor into this floor, and then so on and so forth. It's an elevator all in all. It's a two by two elevator. This is such an achievement. You should be proud. If you do like this contraption guys, please do smash like and comment. I love to see new faces in the comments, it always just brightens my day. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, good night.